Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. We're continuing our playthrough of the NES classic, Crystallis, and we return you to the next episode, currently in progress. Awesomeness awaits. <laughs> All right, so we've uh, we, we've taken a little bit of a roundabout to pick up a bunch of items. We we've got all the collectibles. We've got we've got a decent assortment of items. I think technically I can sell the rest of these shields because I'm like 98% sure the psycho shield protects against paralysis and uh, petrification. Although either way, I definitely don't need the battle shield. So let me uh, let me walk in here. Let me sell the battle shield because regardless, I don't need that. I'll hang on to the psycho shield for a moment. Um, I've got a ring of magic in case I need an emergency refill on my magic. Although Dio's pennant will replenish it over time. I got a couple of fruits of repon. Because if some critter turns me into into a newt, I will eventually get better. But that that takes care of that immediately, I guess. Yeah, I'll hang on to the fruit of power for some emergency magic points as well, and the lysis plant for the same reason. Um, I probably shouldn't have left that paused while I was uh, taking my break because I forgot the the pendant only replenishes your magic when you're standing still. Although, it's a lot faster than you would have expected. Three, four, five, there we go. All right, let me switch back to the warrior ring for the moment. Let's, uh, yep. There's a great pyramid. Guess who's getting ready to go ahead for the pyramid. Hi. I would like your XP, please. Thank you. I mean, I might just take that cave a couple of times. Alright, let me get my leather boots on. Oh, 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 oh. That's just mean. Especially since I need to fly over that stuff. Alright. Hang on. Let me stand here a second and replenish the magic that I just lost out of that evil, evil attack. I don't... I actually don't think anything in here will attack you, if I remember right. But we've got our final armor to pick up in here. And one other item that we'll get after we uh, after we say hello to the emperor. I forgot that there is a magic ring in here too that we could pick up. So I didn't technically need to buy that one, but you know what? I'm not opposed to having two magic rings because what's better than one magic ring? Two. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's. Uh, so let's do that. Alright. Okay. Let's get our warrior ring and let's commit ourselves to the maze. Hopefully we can get enough uh, XP to get the next the next level. Oh! Those guys. I hate those guys. I hate those guys with a passion. Hi, I need your XP. Thank you. I know there's a way to reveal the invisible guys, but I don't remember what it is. And I don't feel like wasting your time looking it up. Alright, so we're gonna go... Oh. Hi! Oh. You're immune. How about that? Goodness! How many hit points do those guys have? Um, sorry, I missed my turn. I need to turn here.
Wait. Nope. Next one. Oh! Fine. Fine. Walk away. I'll get somebody else's XP. There's the magic ring we were looking for. Uh, that tops off the inventory, but I don't think we're going to pick up anything else. If I remember correctly. And if my notes are actually correct. That, that, that is... That is a big if. Hi. Have you heard the good word of XP? I'm probably immune to that. But I'd just as soon not test that out. Not bad. Uh, in here? There should be a door. Nope. I'm lost. Again. Okay, good. I am immune to that stuff. There's the door. Hi, guys. These guys might be worth enough XP that it's just, uh... Don't mind me. I need to talk to a couple of you before I talk to your Emperor. Yeah, how much XP are these guys worth, anyway? Uh, no, not items. Uh, enemies. Area 9. No, Area 8. The Desert. Um... The mummies are worth 1760. They're actually not the highest XP, but they're close enough to make it worthwhile. All right, so yeah, that's a thousand XP each one of these guys. Hmm. No, better than a thousand. The next best thing to two. All right, now. Um, oops. Need my notes. Um, oh, no. No, because we're, we're that close to the Emperor. Let me, uh... Hang on, I gotta, I gotta go talk to your minions for just a smidge longer. Y give me just a minute. <laughs> I... I find it kind of funny that, uh... Your sort of choice for dealing with mummies is, uh, water? I don't know if that seems right or not. Ow! I forgot they hit for it like that. You know what? Um, excuse me while I wait here for just a just a couple seconds to replenish the, the fifty some odd. Yikes! Those guys hit hard. That's why they're worth all that XP. As long as you're not so foolish as to let them touch you. Oof. Okay. Oh my. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, because we are literally on the Emperor's front door. For the first of two-ish fights with him. Um, technically, the minimum level to fight the Emperor is level 15. Um, and you still need the power ring to do it. You can do it at level 16, but you still need the power ring to do it. <laughs> uh, yeah. The Emperor is that kind of guy that you cannot attack him 
without the ring that doubles your attack damage. I wish there was an easier way to pin these guys down. I, mean, I guess there is if I... Excellent! Your level is increased. Okay. It's on now, Emperor. We got the Sword of Thunder. We got our Storm Bracelet. We got our Battle Armor and Psycho Shield and our Power Ring. And oh, okay. And I can't save, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and go file save state, save state, because we're we're here. We are at the emperor. And I'm just going to have that ready to go the second you're done talking. Oh, you were able to come here? I am Emperor Dragon. Show me your power. Anywhere outside of a game, that would get you a restraining order, good sir. Ah! Oh! <laughs> okay, that was easier than I remember. Oh, that just burnt through most of my magic. Yikes. You now have Psycho Armor! Oh, and we fell through a hole in the wall. Oh, Anon Jr., I'm glad you could come. You're wounded! Worry not for me, but for Mezia. She waits for you on the highest floor. You must use the basement entrance to get there. Here is the Bow of Truth. Use it when you battle the Emperor. Go. Mezia is waiting. You now have the Bow of Truth. Justice in the American way. No. Um, uh, I'm tempted to just use the magic ring, but uh, I'm cheap. So... <laughs> So there we go. We we just took on the we just took on the emperor. We we knocked him out with the the first little bit. Now the next part of the pyramid's going to be a hot minute. Uh, oh oh wait a second. Um, we are going to be offered the opportunity. To pick up another opal statue. Since I really would like to have an opal statue, I'm going to use the Fruit of Power now. That'll bump up this refresh time. That'll leave a little space left. I probably should have ditched the Lysis plant now that I don't really need it. Um, uh, Alright. Bow of Moon, Bow of Sun, Bow of Truth. Alright. So, while we wait for the magic points to uh, replenish, which shouldn't take long, I mean, we're talking about a point a second, so we, we, we got a hundred seconds. We can wait a minute. How are you all doing today? Because, uh, well, I had the day off, I wouldn't call it a day off. I had to go put my car in the shop, um, some intermittent problems with the blower. They told me it was going to be one or two problems. It, it, if it was the most common problem, then it would be about an hour and a half labor and uh, a really cheap part for a total of 270 280 bucks somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, or, if it was the uncommon problem, it was going to be $1,080 after parts and labor. Yes, which one it was. Fortunately, I've got a tax return coming in that is uh, almost, almost that amount. So, uh, I will be okay. Uh, I'm 
I am, and, um, uh, alright, subject change. On to the other thing that I've been contemplating, because I had a lot of time to sit and think, and while originally I was going to look at trying as the next game after this one, especially given that, uh, we're this close to the end of Crystallis, um, I was originally going to do trying as the next game in the series. However, comma, they just released Kingdom Hearts for PC. There's a PC port of Kingdom Hearts out. I've never played the game. I've watched Rayest play bits and pieces of it. I've watched Pink Geek play bits and pieces of it. And I've heard wonderful, wonderful things about it. I have been told that I would really, really love to play it, but since I'm not a PlayStation kind of guy, I've never had the opportunity to play it. But now there's a PC port. It's like 40, 40 or 50 bucks, though. Mm. On the other hand, it's Kingdom Hearts. And it's an awesome game. So, you know. Oh, I should probably put on the leather boots, too. There's no point in wasting uh, magic. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, 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 oh. You bum. All right. Grab Dio's pen. Anyway, so I am. I am deeply, deeply considering picking up Kingdom Hearts. I'll, I'll uh, you know, I got the weekend to think about it. And again, I've heard amazing, amazing things about it. So. Uh, next season is going to either be Trine, which I already own, the original one, which is a little bit newer than I usually like to do for these games, but it's something I've started three or four times but never actually finished. Or I'm probably I'm probably gonna end up doing let's be honest, I'm probably gonna end up doing King of Hearts. That that's just too good to pass up. That's just way too good to pass up. Alright. Um, which, which way is the way out of here? Oh, will you let me save here? No. What if I step outside real quick? Will you let me save there? Yes. Okay. <laughs> let me do a save state before I forget again. And... Let's see, uh, let's see what damage I can do here. I need to get from one to two. Alright, this actually looks, uh, fairly... Th this looks linear for what this game has been doing to us thus far. Uh, except for the part where you fall to various random places. Um... Okay, K is the one that I need to get that. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. So, okay. I got this. You ready? Let's do this. I don't even know who's down there, but I'm, I, I'd rather shoot first in it. And sort it out later. Oh, that's right. You who awaken us, you will sleep an endless sleep. Man, that sounds really good. You have no idea how good that sounds right now. Statue of Moon is destroyed. Uh, Bo Sun. Statue of Sun is destroyed. <laughs> that was easy. Alright, this is why the last part took so long. Because <laughs> rather than using the, uh, the, the, the magic ring, or, yeah, the magic rings and stuff to keep my magic I kept stopping to replenish it like this yeah it's okay uh, so I got the statue of the Sun and the moon and 
Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. I need to get to the oval statue. Let's uh, get our warrior ring back on. Let's run through the door. Oh, um, oops. Okay. Oh! Well, fine then. I don't need your XP. I do need you to move out of the way, though. maps. I hate them with a deep and abiding passion. Where the H is H. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, I got so used to having that extra, uh, you know, level one blast. There we go. Alright. Uh, now I need to make my way around to the right first. These guys are vulnerable too. Is it water? Nope. The fire. Wind. Oh! Oh! They got polymorph. Nope. Uh. Don't mind me. When's the timer on this thing run out? <laughs> Alright, no. I'm far enough away from them. Let me go ahead and... <laughs> Yikes. Oh, let's also get that back on, shall we? Oh! Hi. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Alright, there's our other opal statue, which is what we originally came in here for. Alright, let's, uh, let's dodge our way back there, shall we? Carefully, carefully. Ow! I hate you too. Oh, oh come on! Are you kidding me? What, you gonna polymorph me again? Am I gonna turn into a little critter again? Ow! God, you can't sprint in this thing. It's that reduced movement speed that kind of kills me. Oh, oh, and you can't use your magic either. Alright. I'll bother. Let's, uh... Mm -hmm. Carefully now. Ow! Ow! the right button there. Let's get an opal statue active. Um, oh bother. Let's see if I can kite you far enough around. Oh, no, 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 safe corner to, you know, let your magic points heal up. Um, Alright, let me grab my leather boots here. What are the odds that I can just quietly stand here for a minute? <sighs> uh, 
that's what made this part so difficult. And I need the Sword of Wind to take those guys. Oh, why am I not wearing the Psycho Armor? Duh. That, that's... Ugh. Okay. All right, all right, all right. All right. Yeah. Maybe I need to fill up my coffee cup on the next break. If you could not, I'm trying to replenish some magic points. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Let me take a little break and then, uh, and then we'll get back. Well, that was fun. Unless I died. Then it was a little less fun. I hope you enjoyed the series so far. The next episode should roll out tomorrow, unless tomorrow's a live stream day. The current schedule is over on my Twitch profile. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, do follow in Twitch. That way you'll get notified when I go live, allowing you to chat along as we record the next six episodes. Or chat along with whatever else I got going on. I do a variety of things, just like here. Speaking of here, if you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. Click the bell and you'll no get notified of all the new content produced from future Games Revisited episodes to Coffee Craft Livestream Archives, instrument repair, upgrades, and construction, and uh, anything else that strikes my fancy. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, quips, queries, quandaries, quotes, complaints, comments, or quibbles, just uh, leave those in the comments below. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.